Hello, welcome back to the channel. Do you fancy a life without three putting? You're in the right place. When you're trying to remove the three putt from your repertoire, then basically what you've got to do is change your strategy, not your technique. What we're looking at in the majority of cases is your second putt is too long. And it's too long not because you've misread the green or even pushed or pulled the putt, it's too long because you haven't judged the distance correctly. It's all about distance control. So I've got a very simple strategy for you which will help you to stop making three putts. And that starts in that you are able to hold all the balls or the majority of the balls within three feet of the hole. The stats on the tour show us that this is possible. They are holding 99% of the putts within three feet. And that has got to be physically possible even for a hobby golfer. We're just not practicing these three putt putts enough. That's the reason that we don't hold them. But if you can align yourself correctly, take the club short, back short and through long, you're gonna get more and more of these putts in. And that means that the strategy allows you just with every other putt on the green to get it within the three foot and you've got your two putt. If you think about how many putts you take in a round, how often that second putt is really demanding, then you know that you have a problem with distance control. But if you find that even these short putts are getting you a little bit wobbly, then you've just got to be practicing them more often. Now, I would definitely recommend something I've been doing really, even as a child, is aligning the ball to the hole. The rules of golf allow us to mark it, pick it up, clean it, and don't tell us how to put it back down. So why not align it to the hole by either putting a line on or using the line that the manufacturer gives you? Once you've got it aligned to the hole, then all you've got to do is get the club aligned to the ball. Now at this point, I'm basically forgetting the hole at the moment and just getting the thing aligned to the hole the way that I see it. Once I've actually done that, it's about getting myself aligned in my body movement, making the movement, and the ball has got to go in the hole. And I will do that pretty religiously when I'm playing a lot of golf. I, as a child, would make myself hold 20 of these before I went out onto the round. And if you can do that, at some stage, you start worry, stop worrying about it and just knock them in. And it's often, if you think about it, it's the fear factor which is actually giving you the jitters, making you worry about it, look a little bit too soon and pull it past the hole. In truth, if you have the club correctly aligned, you should be able to hole one after another. Now, I'm not saying go out there and hold 20 in a row, but if you were to able to hold three in a row today, hold four in a row tomorrow, once you can do four in a row, in a row, hold five in a row, and just try and build up that confidence, because once you're actually aligned, irrespective of your putting technique, it's all about self-belief and confidence. If you're hitting these short putts confidently, you're going to haul it. All you've got to do then is get them within three feet. To control the distance, really, you've got to be controlling the length of your swing and the tempo of your swing, or a combination of both. And if you actually watch good putters, that's what they're doing, one of the three. It's very difficult to actually say that you as an individual have got to be doing it this way. And I believe, quite honestly, you should be letting your unconscious really decide that rather than your conscious mind. Um, if you start getting there like uh, Mr. Deschambeau and taking it back an exact distance, then you've got to be playing on exactly the same quality of green every week. And unfortunately for a hobby golfer, that's just not happening. So it's far more about your ability to judge the distance on the green that you're playing. And that's more about being able to visualize what's supposed to be happening with the ball. That means that the ball is going to have a start speed. It's going to slow down over the speed and it's going to then stop at a position point or a particular point. And I think a lot of the putting that we do, we're actually trying to aim at a hole. We're not really visualizing where the ball is going to stop. 
So a lot of the exercises they get people doing have got far more to do with seeing the entirety of the role rather than I, the, the role being broken by the ball falling into the cup at the time. Again, really to get them out of this three putts. So the first thing you've got to do if you can't visualize the roll is basically watch a ball rolling. And that's why I get my students to just basically roll a ball underarm towards the hole. And you'll be amazed how well you can actually do that if you practice it. What also you'll be amazed about is just how often the ball actually falls into the hole, although you're not actually aiming for the ball to fall into the hole. But once you've actually got a picture for that, what you're trying to do is recreate that with the putter. Now, you're not gonna get this right straight away, but the idea is to be able to see the roll of the ball, see the speed that the ball starts, how it slows down on its way, and how it stops next to the hole. Now, if it hadn't hit the tee, we'd probably be next to the hole there. But just to prove to you that I do practice this, I'll hit a couple more. Again, I'm just visualizing the roll of the ball, visualizing it stopping right next to the hole. And if it doesn't stop right next to the hole, it might stop in the hole. I don't want the ball rolling more than three foot past the hole. Now I know a lot of you are believing you've got to be aggressive so that it's going maybe one foot, two foot past the hole. That's not my intention. I want the ball to actually stop at the hole in this drill. And I want all of the balls to stop at hole height if they don't go in. Now you may be saying, well, he's probably been practicing this for years and he knows exactly the break on the green. But you wouldn't be totally wrong there. But you can see here the consistency of the strike, the consistency of the pace that I'm getting there. And that's not because I'm a tour professional on the contrary. I play far less golf than you do. But I practice these things with my students and that's how I can actually get a, a feel for this. And I have a very good kind of visual perception of how the ball should be rolling. If you can get the ball within this three foot radius or from the, from the cup, then you're never gonna have more than a three foot putt to the hole for your second putt. If you practice three foot putts, every day, you're going to hole 99% of them because there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to hole as many putts as the tour pros do. There's nothing physically that's going to stop you from doing that. It's just you don't practice it. So is there any other way that you can think and practice speed? Well, I think as well, what I also like to do is play little games with myself. And if I can't play games with myself, then I will try and find somebody who fancies losing a beer. And I will play games against my mates. At least they stay my mates for a little while until they spent too many beers. And I will now visualize a line between the first two tees and try and get the ball to stop on that line, exactly at the height of the hole. Now, Again, I'm not thinking about holding the putt here. I'm thinking about getting the ball to stop on the line. If I hit the golf ball a little bit too hard or a little bit too soft, I've got to choose a different line anyway. If there is a massive slope from left to right and I aim it a three foot to the left, it's got to go six foot to the right before it's outside of the radius that I want to get it into. If I aim it three foot to the right, it's got to go six foot to the left for it to get outside of that. And really what I'm looking for is to get the hole at the center of my dispersion area. So if I do tend to miss them on the right, I'm aiming a little bit to the left with my approach putts. 
and this is something you've got to get used to, is basically not the feeling of wanting to hold the ball every time and you'll be amazed how often you just hold it. So again now, not trying to hold it, just trying to get the ball to stop on the line exactly at the height of the hole. If you can get yourself capable of doing this, then you're actually going to find that the three putt disappears forever. Well, not forever, because golf's a difficult game. Hope you liked it. Hope it helps you. If it does, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done already. If you would like to support the channel, I now have a Patreon page where you can actually um, send me uh, monthly money uh, to keep us going. Um, if you don't fancy doing that, we'll turn up next month. Anyway, I'll leave a link below to that. But on the other hand, thanks to all of the patrons who are supporting the channel and help me to get back here every week with little tips for you. All the best until the next time. Bye-bye.